hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video you'll be learning how to draft a basic trouser pattern so i'm just ruling one inch away from the edge of my paper both vertically and horizontally so that's just what i'm doing now so rule one inch away from the edge of your paper that's important after that i'll be taking my waist to hip measurement which is nine inches so i'm just marking out nine inches horizontally they are going to rule that out after that i'm going to take my shoulder my waist to crotch line that's two inches away from my hip line so that's about 11 inches so i'm also going to rule it out after taking my shoulder my waist to crotch line i'm taking my waist to knee length so that's 24 inches so i'm just measuring 20 i mean putting down 24 on my paper so then after i'm going to measure the full length of my pants i'm using full length of 46 inches here but which i later changed to 44 So I'm just really my line. So I'm just labeling it so you'll be able to know which is which. That's my waist, hip line, crotch, my knee line, and the length of the trouser. So I later change it to I later change my length to 44. Because I want to use this pattern to cut another trouser, so I'll just you know which where 44 inches is. So I'm just ruling it out too. So now I'm taking my hip measurements. My hip is 40, 40 divided by 4 is 10 inches. So I'm just putting 10 inches on the hip line and also on my waistline. Put the 10 inches on your waistline and also on your crotch line. Then you rule it straight. You put your hip measurement on your hip line waist and crotch then rule it straight so to get my crotch measurement i'm going to divide my hip that 10 inches you divide it by four so that's going to be 2.5 so that's why i'm measuring 2.5 then i came out by 1.5 inches if you are wondering what the second line is i came out by 1.5 inches so i'm just ruling it back to that line for my hip so now I'm taking my waist measurements. Note where I'm taking the waist from. I'm not taking it from the other side of the paper, the tip. I'm taking it from the hip line I drew up. So I'm just putting my hip measurements there. So my, I mean, I'm just putting my waist measurements there. My waist is 33. 33 divided by 4 is 8.25, I think, they're about. So I'm just putting the accurate measurements there. So I'm dividing in order to get the center of this pattern where you'll be able to use to draw your dart and know, know when you iron gators that part. So I'm dividing the crotch by two. That's from that edge of the paper to the crotch line of 2.5 that we marked. So we're dividing by two and we're going to measure it across all the lines on the paper. So I think here it was 6 inches or 6.25. Yes, it was 6.25. So... I'm just measuring 6.25 down because it's the 10 inches plus the 2.5 we took that's 12.5 12.5 divided by 2 is 6.25 so that's what i'm measuring so now i'm to take my one inch dart because i let i added one inch to my waist because of the dart and i'm just coming down by six inches to rule my dart so if you don't understand, just follow what I'm doing. So now I'm just taking my tie measurement. I should have done that when I was really my horizontal line. So my tie measurement is just 2 inches from my crotch line. So I'm just ruling it down. That's my tie. So I'm using tie of 24. So 24 divided by 4 
is what I'm measuring. So that's 24 divided by 4 is 6 inches. So I'm just measuring 6 on my tie. My knee, round my knee is 4.5. So I'm just, and I'm also using 3.5 at both sides for my ankle. So now I'm just going to use my ruler to curve it up. So be careful when you're curving your pattern. Make sure it has a nice curve. Not too curvy and also not straight for this, but just follow the dot. So if you want your trousers to have a front zipper, so this is just how you are going to do that. I'm rolling two inches away from the hip line I drew up and I'm just going to roll it down. And from there, I'm going to curve it into my hip line. So that's just what I did. Very simple. Two inches away from the hip line and curve it into your hip line also. So I'm just adding my allowance one inch on every side of the pattern and basically that's just it for the front. So for my back pattern, I'm just placing my front pattern on another paper at the back. I folded in the flap, the front flap, so because I, do, I won't be needing it for the back. So note that when I'm putting this pattern on another paper, I left some amount of space, about three inches above the paper because we'll be doing some adjustments up on this pattern because of our bomb. You know our bomb bomb, we're going to make room for our bomb. So leave like three inches above your paper. So now we're going into the paper by 1.5 and also from the waistline we'll be going up by 1.5. So I'll be folding the waist allowance that I created up in order for you guys to see what I'm doing clearly. So 1.5 to the side and 1.5 up. So just see what I'm doing in case you don't understand like what I'm saying. So now I'm just using my ruler to roll it up and also I'll be measuring my waistline and I'll be putting it back on that new line that I'm creating. It should link back to the original line that is in front. So now I'm going to roll it and make sure that line is 
going back into my hip line i'm not more putting allowance again because i've added the allowance with my waistline so i'm just going to curve it a little to give it some shape because it's looking like it's almost rhyming with my hip line but just leave it like that it's just because of the measurement once i sew it and take in my dart everything is going to fall into shape so now i'm just put inputting my dart so now we're going to get our crotch from the back i mean for our back pattern so i have to get our crotch for the back pattern is the 2.5 divided by 2 so that's 1.5 inches so i'm going to add 1.5 inches to the crotch of the front so i'm taking the line Note that I'm taking the line from the, my allowance, so there's no need to add allowance again since I've already taken everything together. So I'm adding 1.5 to the crotch of my paper, and I'm going to add that same 1.5 round down. So I'm adding 1.5 down to the down of my paper. So I'm just adding 1.5. I mean 1.25 I mean 1.25 not 1.5 1.25 down so I'm just going to rule the line so what this 1.25 down is just an extra line that is at the back of that is on the back pattern so this one there's no need to add another um another sewing allowance because we've already the sewing allowance in front I've already calculated everything with the back pattern for the back pattern so there's no need to add another allowance so i'm just tracing out my front pattern the allowance for my front pattern down so basically the down is still going to look the same just the additional one inch we're adding to the sides and the adjustment to mid up so that's just it's for the back so now we're going to connect that line up and our crotch line We're going to connect the line with our ruler, with our curved ruler. So just watch how I'm connecting my line. So just make sure you connect it in a curvy way. So I'm just going to use my hand to connect the lines. So you can still use your curved ruler if your hand is not straight. So you can still use your curved ruler to curve it in. So this is how my back is looking like when I remove the paper. So now I'm taking my dart four inches from the curve line that goes into goes into the crotch. So I'm just going to roll it down. I'm going to come down by six inches, and from that six inches, I'm going to roll it up to the one half inch half inch I took from the side. So basically, this is just our dart for the back, and I'm just adding one inch allowance. Your allowance doesn't have to be an inch. You can also you can always use half an inch for your allowance but just remember to take whatever allowance you add just remember to take it in back or trim it off when you're sewing so now i'm just cutting it out So if you want to add a band for your trousers, you are just going to minus 2 inches from the waist downwards how the dart is going. And just going to minus 2 inches from there and you just re readjust the dart basically. That's just what you are going to do. So if you do the same for the back also if you want to, if you want to add band for the back. Or if you want to leave it like this, you can always leave it like this and use a cloth. Um, clothes to do the facing basically that's just it's as simple as that so this is how my patterns are looking like now if there's anything you don't understand, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be there to reply to our comment. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, 
subscribe and hit the notification bell please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you